El siguiente contenido se ofrece bajo una licencia Creative Commons. Su apoyo ayudará a Meet Open Course a continuar ofreciendo recursos educativos de alta calidad de forma gratuita. Para hacer una donación o ver los materiales adicionales de cientos de cursos, visite Meet Open Course a en www.mit.edu. So this is the cutting department, about seven cases. Now I'm going to walk to the next department, it's called the Griffith department, part of the value so stream. So it's like the second part of the value it's stream. A sec, it's the second team in the value stream. We got stream. the cutting, now we're going to do stitching. Exactly. The Griffith is a shoe making technique. Many years ago, when we didn't have computers, the way a shoe was stitched is it used to be fitted. Two parts coming together and a very uh, skillful stitcher to put it together. But before be able to Brief it, stitch it, and it uh, be fitted. It used to be brief fitted, which is you do marking, you do embroidery, you do other things before okay. you put the shoe together. Yep. That's where the name comes okay. from, brief fit. So we do embroidery, okay. we we'll put the logos, is where the, logo, NB, NB the is, or main USA logo is there. Uh, and then you will see a series of operations, miscellaneous operations, that are required to make a shoe. For example, reinforcement on the tip. I talk about embroidery, some cells take embroidery, others do not. Here we have a machine called RF well, radio frequency machine. It's not being operated right now, but as an example, this is a part that will make this deco. Uh, you know, it's a nice uh, feature. This is what this machine is going to do. Again, some cells have it, some cells do not. And if we go through the, 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 the team, you'll see associates making other miscellaneous operations to the part, to the shoe. So the flow of material starts over there, goes to the... So we'll go cutting, yeah. brief it, yeah. we'll go to the computer stitching, and we'll finish up stitching, and then eventually uh, the assembly where they put the sole on. So if, if things are getting a little out of uh, sequence timing-wise, could someone from here go over and help the brief it? People on this, is a, this is a very good it's a very good point. When we change from the batch and queue world, to the lean world, we change the management system. In the past, you have uh, associates and supervisors, nobody in the middle. In order to support the attack time of 22 and a half seconds um, and maintain that flow, now we change the system where we have a supervisor, we have team leaders, and then the associates. Okay. So team leaders fill in if there is a disruption of any kind, the bathroom break, yeah. to a phone call, to a, a, a quality issue, they will jump in to maintain their the team leader will. Absolutely. So the team, team leader, leader can do everything. Absolutely, yes. So we still in this team, in the briefing, we have batch. The parts are pre-fitted, put a, a reinforcement to the toe, you make a little deco, uh, okay. you know. Uh, you put those associates there and make a little hole on the part. They're putting back on those bins that we talked before yep. and brought the filling batch to this department is called computer stitching. Computer stitching. So okay. what I'm going to show you right now are uh, stitching machines, but they have a computer and cameras. And the way it works, you see an associate picking these kind of parts, putting what's called a pallet. These little holes are to put on pins, and the pallet will be fed into this machine, and you have lights taking pictures okay. on a computer and taking a picture of three frames per second. So the camera tells the computer this is the edge and the computer tells the sewing machine where to put oh, the stitch. Okay. 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 At this computer stitching department is when we transition from the badge to the floor. Okay. And that's what I'm going to show you. Now. Okay, great. This associate here, I, I forgot to mention when we talk about the different management system, remember tag time flow, supervisor, team leader to help, but also we want associates to be on the line producing the shoes at that tag time. So another level is called the point of views. Okay. Associate, the, the, uh, the goal of point of views is to bring the parts to okay. the operators actually adding value to the shoe. So this lady is a point of use associate? This is called a point of use associate. She looks Absolutely. pretty busy too. Very busy. <laughs> they have to distribute, you know, in case a case every nine minutes, yep. and they have a, uh, a flow. 
from this computer station to the, the next department and come back and flow. Everything is about flow. So you want to keep this person, want to have everything she needs to do what she needs to do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This person in the past, in the past world, this person will leave the machine, will go pick up the parts, come back. A um, lot of variability in the system. Yeah. And yeah. Re reduction of waste is to reduce variability at the same time. They must have to work very closely together. Yes, absolutely. So here you have the computer stitching machine. Okay. Um, these are the parts that came from the cutting. And the associate puts the parts on this pallet. It's fed into the okay, machine. It goes back in the machine. You got the cameras taking pictures. And now it's stitching. And then the sewing machines yep. stitching where the computer is going to stitch. The pallet comes up. Here we got the parts. Okay. Now, yeah. why only three parts? It's because under the tag time of 22 and a half seconds, that's all it fits in this machine. Okay. So we look at, we take all the time that is required to stitch a shoe, we divide it by 22 and a half seconds, and that tells us how many associates we need to put to flow. Now when you switch to the tack time uh, approach, did you have to redesign some of these machines to... Completely. Okay. In the, they, past, the old they, machines didn't fit the tack time. I'm sorry, the machines are okay. We have to change the thinking of the designing of the pallets. Okay. In the past, in the past and, 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 and Q world, we were very proud when we could put as many layers as possible to save machinery. Okay. Uh, the goal was the machine efficiency. Great. Because you get rewarded in the, pa in the batch world for machine efficiency. Great. Great. Right now, the goal is into efficiency in associated to Okay. So what we did is now we don't pack as many layers as we can. We only put enough layers to maintain flow. The machine is the same, but the design of the pallet yep. and the number of parts has changed radically. Okay. Very good. Okay. And, did, and did the associates participate in that redesign? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that, that, that's a great question. And we talk about the, the team leaders. That's one of the major, major changes that, you know, we're reading the books about our associates are best assets. And, uh, and so we, we, I think we're working. Uh, you know, uh, we're talking about we also, you know, we're doing great things here where associates have a great part, you know, in the uh, in the problem solving activity, in the design, supervisors and team leaders consult them all the time. Uh, that's what makes a big, big difference. But before we talk about that, now you see single piece flow, you have flow. Yep. So we One got a cell here. We have a you cell. have a cell, exactly. I mean, this is a very good graphical realization of a cell. You can see it all connected together. I think it's a good point. This is a good example of, of flowing. Yeah. Of flowing. And we ask them to not to have more than two pairs. It says right there. Two pairs only. Huh? Two pairs only. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, and you got, that, you, got, you got some visual work instructions here? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, that's part of the standardized work where we define the standardized web. And visual management is a big part of it. And if, if we have more, if I see three pairs, you know, there's a problem. It's a social problem having problems. Okay. The flow coordinator, the, we call the flow coordinator the team leader. We call them flow coordinators. Oh, the flow coordinator. Yeah, they, it's okay. a name we come up with. That's much better than team leader. Yes. <laughs> um, because the goal is to maintain the flow in a way. Well, the, the title flow coordinator means team leader focuses on them, flow coordinator focuses on what they're doing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, so visually, if you see three pair, the flow coordinator will come and say, you know, something is not right. So uh, visually, it's very powerful. So, Claudio, I see some little red dots over says red color labels. What are those for? It could be that um, this machine sometimes are very sensitive to uh, to the shape of the part because you take a picture and the part is sort of warped, it falls the machine. So in uh, shoemaking technology, you can have a stage runoff. So the associate put a little red dot and as it goes by, the flow coordinator will notice, fix it quickly okay. and put it back into the line. Now is that something that came out of an employee suggestion? Probably, yeah, and they, they like to have that and they identify themselves, you know, at least the defect is there, but they take ownership. That's a big thing that changed in the past. They were just trying to, you know, we have inspectors at the line putting the dots. Now, defects happen, but now they have ownership. And, and we, uh, I'm very proud. We, we created a really uh, an environment that it's okay uh, to show.
show uh, their mistakes, and it's not—it's not a problem. It's and not they're problem. happy with that. Oh, not a problem. Really? And it's very interestingly, when we change from the batch to the lean, uh, standards are very important. Standardized work, which is the definition, sort of the best uh, flow of product considering cost, and policy, and economics. And some people thought, well, if I have to do always the same. Uh, management was concerned that as such it would feel like robots and feedback that we got after two months of lean implementation is that they love to know what they have to do so management and even human resources concept that they would feel like robots was not correct and um, what we're trying to teach them is that it's sort of a paradox because standardized work tells you always have to do the same thing but as you do always the same thing, you have a foundation for problem solving, for mm -hmm. continuous improvement. So standardized work is a continuous improvement tool. Continuous improvement. Very, it depends how you look at yeah. things. Yeah. So if through that repetition, they will recommend uh, changes. That's a really interesting approach because that makes standardized work be something where you're always trying to improve it compared to now we can forget about it. Right, yeah. absolutely. Well, that's the thing. It, Sometimes we go crazy, never stop. <laughs> Once you get the spring we wire for continuous improvement, never stop. Then the goal of management is really changed uh, radically. Um, management managers become more of teachers and coaches. Coaches always um, challenge their thinking. Always uh, production managers call. They always have to uh, put, have like gentle tension. You, you will not, in my experience of what I read, you will not introduce lean with that, that tension. You know, it's, 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 it's a, you know, it's like, I read somewhere else, you know, this is like a pressure cooker. It's always pressure to just release the pressure. <laughs> Very good analogy. Okay. Great. Well, maybe we should move on. Yes, so here you got the, uh, the case ready for the next department. Okay. And the case will be sent to the teaching department. So I think we should go around and I'll show you from the beginning. Okay, very good.